You're in good shape, man. And you're continuing on from last season, right? Yeah. I guess lockdown suited you. <laughs> you know, I feel like I came out of that pandemic situation and it was either sink or swim. So I thought this is my chance. I'm going to grab this with both hands and I'm going to come out of this on the, on the better side, you know, because I feel like that was a very tough time for us all. And I wanted to make sure it had meaning to it for me um, individually. I mean, if I could have jumped through my TV last year and give you a hug in Japan, I would have, man. So happy for you, man. And it's continuation for me. It's like yeah. one year after the other. Yeah. There's some, there were some spots in the middle where you're like, mm, you know, could have been better, but you seem to be progressing in the right way. Talk, of, talk about how you approach this season based on that success. Yeah, I feel like last year was an amazing season. I'd probably say it was my big breakthrough season. I made the Olympic final, which was my main goal. I ran sub 11 seconds three times for the first time. Um, and I was lining on the start line with the best in the world every single race. So I definitely achieved what I wanted to achieve for that season. And I think for me, it's just about having that continuation and realising actually I am one of the best and I need to aim for these medals, these individual medals. So I feel like this year for me, I'm very motivated um, by coming last in the final in Olympics. And that's not a place that you ever see me in again. So. What's the priority for you? But then what's the priority? Um, yeah, well, we've got Worlds. We've got so many championships this year. I think if I can get individual medals, that's where I want to be. Good luck with all of it, right? Thank you so much. Thank